back to my channel my name is Giselle now for today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create these super easy Valentine's Day caramel wrapped chocolate pretzels now if you're ready to see how exactly I made this let's go ahead and get started so first things first we're going to melt our chocolate here and today I will be using the Stover Sweet Shop white coating wafers and I'm just going to distribute these into my three different silicone cups here and they're all going to have the same amount. Now all we're going to do is simply place this in the microwave individually, so meaning one at a time for 30 seconds. You're going to take it out and give it a really good stir with your spatula and at the end you will end up with this amazing consistency right here. Now let's start coloring our chocolate and here's a small quick tip. You always want to use an oil-based candy coloring for your chocolate and coating wafers. It's going to help make everything just blend so seamlessly. You want to avoid using anything with water and food coloring gels, which will lead to seizing and making your chocolate hard and very difficult to work with. So I'm just going to continue stirring and adding in this beautiful color. Remember, you can always add a little bit or intensify the color by adding more and you're going to end up with some really pretty results. And let me know down below which one is your favorite color in this collection right here. Is it the first one, the second, or the third? I think my personal favorite definitely has to be the hot pink. It is such a beautiful and vibrant pink. I'm going to have to intensify the color in a different video. So now we're getting on to the fun part. We're going to start unwrapping our small caramels. We're also going to need our long pretzel rod, but here's the trick. We're going to cut it down the middle with a serrated knife, and we're going to end up with these super tiny and cute pretzel sticks. So let's unwrap our caramel here, and we're going to place it on a plastic plate. We're going to place this in the microwave for 10 to 12 seconds, depending on the temperature of your microwave. Mine took about 11 seconds. So once we have it out of the microwave, we're going to start kneading it and just kind of moving it with our fingertips. It's going to start getting a little bit softer as you continue to kind of just move it around. So now we're going to start rolling this into a small ball. Then we're going to start rolling this going up and down, starting to elongate this. We're then going to place it back on our silicone mat and we're going to start rolling it out a little bit so it starts getting longer and longer. And I'm going to use my purple brush as kind of a guide to let me know exactly how long I need to make this caramel. So it's very important to be working one at a time because they do cool down pretty fast. So I do recommend just doing one in the microwave and then doing the next and the next. So here we have our long caramel. So now we're going to take our pretzel rod here and starting at the top, we're going to press this down, making sure it's nice and secure and flat. Then we're going to just start rolling this all around the pretzel rod until you get to the bottom. Now once we get to the bottom, we're going to secure it the same way as we did to the top. And just like that, we have this finished caramel pretzel rod. Now let's go ahead and finish the rest of them and we'll get started on dipping them into our chocolate. So I don't have enough chocolate in my cup to kind of just dip it all inside. So what I'm doing is tilting my cup and slowly turning my caramel pretzel rod so that I get all the way to the bottom of that last bit. And just like our chocolate covered strawberries, we're going to lift it up and shake off as much chocolate here as we can so that we don't create a big puddle at the bottom when we're resting it on our silicone mat. So now I'm going to finish dipping all of these in our different colored chocolates and we'll be right back.
Now for this one, when I laid it down on my silicone mat, I saw that there was a little bit too much chocolate. So all you really have to do is just lift it up and move it into a cleaner spot. And that pretty much will prevent you from having that larger puddle at the bottom. So now once all of our pretzel rods are nice and dried, we're going to start the drizzling process. So inside of all of my piping bags, I have all of the chocolates that we use for our pretzel rods. So they're inside of our piping bags. And I'm going to cut a small tip on there to create these really intricate lines. So right after your drizzling, you have to work very quickly here. You're going to grab all of your favorite sprinkles and add them on top of that drizzle. Just like that, you have that super cute design here. So we're going to do this for the rest of them and I'll be right back. So now we're on to our packaging and inside of my pastry box, I'm going to fill the bottom with a lot of these mini marshmallows and you can also use some of that crinkle paper so they have, you can use the colors white, red, or pink or I know that Target carries a specific brand, I believe it's called Spritz and they have like the whole, like all of those three colors into one box and it's very, very pretty. So I'm gonna to have to take a trip down there and show you guys exactly which one I'm talking about. That would be such a cute pairing with this box as well. And we can't forget about the edible glitter. You guys know I love edible glitter. In my last video, I forgot to add it in and I was like, no, like, oh my God, I totally, I totally zoned out. Um, but for these future videos, I'm definitely adding in my favorite glitters. But this one is one of my favorites. This one is Crafty Cake Shop in the color White Pearl. And that is pretty much it for this tutorial, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for future videos. Let me know down below what videos you would like to see. Okay, guys, I'll catch you guys on my next tutorial. Bye, everyone. Have a lovely day.